Hello everybody and welcome to a short training session about how to find a suitable pump. My name is Gisa Ringe and I'm working for company Bürkle as Key Account Manager. In the following couple of minutes I want to show you how to find a suitable pump for a specific chemical in a specific container. Company Bürkle manufactures, distributes and develops manual samplers for various applications and materials such as powders, granules, liquids and also viscous media or even frozen goods, pumps for different liquids and plastic labware and containers such as for example burets, funnel stands, jerry cans and spray bottles. Now we will focus on the topic of pumps and how to find a suitable pump for a specific chemical. To use a pump for fitting and decanting is an issue of safety. Using a pump prevents the risk by slipping on wet floors caused by spilled chemicals, skin diseases or poisoning by spilled chemicals and health hazards from harmful vapors. Even the use of a funnel does not provide the required safety. Bürkler offers a wide range of different pumps and accessories to fill off liquid safely. These pumps are for example for flammable liquids, solvents, detergents, acids and alkalis. To choose an appropriate pump it is important to know exactly which liquid shall be filled off. For each chemical in different concentrations you have to check and respect the chemical resistance. Not every pump made of any material is suitable for every chemical and liquid. In addition, you have to know if the liquid is flammable and which viscosity it has. We recommend our pumps for a maximum viscosity of 500 amperes. Second important thing to know is from which container shall the liquid be filled off. You have to know the size and the volume of the container. The pump should always be taller than the height of the container to ensure a complete emptying. Otherwise, there will always be a rest in the container which is not wished. Third question is, which kind of screw joint or thread or opening does the container has? This is important to know because the pump has to be fixed properly on the container to ensure a safe filling. Basically, there are three paths to find a suitable pump. But first of all, it is important to know that for flammable liquids, the pump needs to be grounded during the filling to ensure safety and prevent electrostatic buildup. For this purpose, the pump needs to be made of a material which is conductive. And this is only the case with stainless steel. Let's now look at the different paths to find a suitable pump. The easiest way is if you have any kind of solvent, like acetone, ethanol or isopropanol. As solvents are also flammable liquids, only the solvent pump made of stainless steel is recommended. If you have any other kind of flammable liquid, also the barrel pump made of stainless steel is a suitable solution. The third path and a bit more complicated is if you have any kind of acid or alkalis. There are weak acids and strong acids. If you have a strong acid, for example sulfuric acid, there's just one solution. It is a pump made of PTFE. If you have weak acid, there are pumps recommended which are made of PP or PE. I now want to show you how to work with our list of chemical resistance. This list is available on our website. Here you see a short extract of that list. On the left hand side you find the different chemicals and on the top you find the different materials like different plastics, stainless steel, aluminium, etc. For each material you find two numbers. So the first number is the resistance at room temperature and the second number the resistance of the material at higher temperature. One would be very good resistant, two still resistant, three just partially resistant and four not resistant. We always recommend a pump when we find that the material has one and one so perfectly resistant at room temperature and higher temperature or we also recommend it if we find a 1 and 2. All other combinations are not recommended. 
to give you an example. You see here the euphoric acid. First of all, we see it is not flammable, otherwise there would be an X. And then we go through the different materials and search for a resistant 1 and 1 or 1 and 2. So PP, for example, has just 3 and 4, so not resistant. So we don't recommend a pump made of PP. Then we go further and we see, okay, PTFE has 1 and 1, so we would recommend a pump made of PTFE. Another example is acetone. Here we see, okay, this is flammable. It is flammable, that means we need to use a pump made of stainless steel. Maybe you remember that I just said that for any kind of solvents like acetone, we recommend our solvent pump. So in this case, the recommendation or the choice is quite easy. If you go through the different materials, you might find that there's also one and one for PTFE. Yes. So PTFE would be resistant against acetone, but as acetone is flammable, the pump need to be made of stainless steel because, as you might remember, that's a reason of safety because stainless steel can be grounded and any kind of plastic cannot be grounded and the pump need to be grounded during filling to ensure safety, otherwise there could be be an electrostatic buildup, which could lead, in worst case, to fire and explosion. That's why every time if you have a flammable liquid, you choose a pump made of stainless steel. Now I want to give you an overview about the most common pumps we offer. Actually, a pump was the first Berkeley product about 70 years ago. It was our Otal pump. The today's Otal pumps looks a bit different, but are still in our range and one of the most popular products. They are working according to the overpressure principle. They are our most flexible pumps because they are available in different versions, hand and foot operated for different container sizes, available with tubes made of different materials for different chemicals, and have a telescoping rod which adapts to the different container sizes automatically. In addition, they have a flexible bung which fits into any container opening of 30 to 70 mm in diameter. Then we have our PTFE barrel pump. This is working according to the piston stroke principle, so a bit different than the Otal pumps which are working with pressure. The PTFE barrel pump has an excellent chemical resistance as PTFE is a really highly resistant plastic. Therefore, the pump can also be used for really strong acids, like for example, nitric acid. It is available in different immersion depths, so for different container sizes, in two versions with discharge tube or discharge hose. The barrel screw joints and adapters for most common containers are available as accessory. According to the same principle, so the piston stroke principle, we have our PP barrel pumps. These pumps are made of PP and therefore suitable for weak acids like for example hydrochloric acid. They are also, like the PTFE pumps, available in different immersion depths for different container sizes with discharge hose or discharge tube. Also here the barrel screw joints and adapters are available as accessory. An electrical solution for filling acids and alkalis are our pumps AQ1 and Energy1. The AQ1 is driven by a rechargeable battery and the energy one by a power supply unit with a plug. With the electric pumps a fast, flexible and convenient filling is possible. The power supply units, so the battery and the power supply with the plug, are interchangeable. Also the drive can be disconnected and be used for different pump stations.
so you can use one drive for several pump stations to fill off several liquids. With the touch panel, you can regulate the flow comfortably and continuously. The Accu one and Energy one are available in different immersion depth, and the various screw joints and adapters are also here available as accessory. For flammable liquids, we offer the stainless steel pump. This is made of stainless steel, so it is possible to ground them. They are also available again in different sizes for different container heights and available with discharge tube or discharge hose. So here a screw joint and adapters are available as accessory. If filling flammable liquids, the use of the anti-static set is required to ensure safety and to prevent electrostatic buildup. Pay attention, this pump is not suitable for solvents and especially not for acetone. For solvents like acetone, ethanol, isopropanol, etc., we developed a special solvent pump. So this is available in two versions, hand-operated, foot-operated, for different container sizes. The hand-operated pump is recommended for containers up to 60 liters and the foot-operated pump for taller containers up to 220 liters. This is working like the Otal pumps according to the pressure principle. As solvents are also flammable liquids, the use of the anti-static set is required to ensure safety and prevent electrostatic buildup. The solvent pumps are also available as withdrawal system for solvents, which works with compressed air or nitrogen for creating the pressure and not with surrounding air like the normal solvent pumps. And it's also available as solvent pump mini for bottles up to 5 liters with a GL45 thread. To complete our range of pumps, we offer different accessories. First of all, the anti-static set, which need to be used whenever decanting flammable liquids. The anti-static set ensures easy and reliable earthing, so electrostatic buildup will not occur. In addition, we have different barrel screw joints for different container threads and container openings. If the barrel screw joints do not fit directly onto the specific container thread, we offer also different thread adapters to enable a secure connection. As new accessory, we also offer a drum holder. This can be fixed on the barrel and the filling container can be placed on that. So you have both hands free for the filling process. Thank you very much for attending the training. If you have any questions, need any recommendation or help to choose a suitable pump, please don't hesitate to contact me or my colleagues. Have a nice day and take care.